time online a few days ago, I stumbled upon this picture. Now I thought this is pretty funny and interesting, you know, unlocking your car with a screwdriver and starting with a screwdriver, making people look at you weird, thinking you're stealing your car or something. So I decided to pick one of these things up, but then I noticed I was under a rock and these things had their moment in the spotlight like three years ago and nobody sells them or makes them or anything. But I still wanted this thing. So I decided to make my own version. And here it is. And I also decided to do it the simplest way possible. So here's how. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of your original key, obviously. You can set those aside. And you are going to buy a screwdriver, but don't just buy any old screwdriver, buy one of these. You see these have two types of heads on them, and they have this handle, and you can easily insert and take out the handle. Another good thing is, is that the handle has these grooves where we are going to fit our key. So, we won't be needing this, but we will be needing this. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to get an angle grinder and you are going to grind away the entire part of the key that you usually hold with your hand when you are unlocking or starting your car. All you want to have left at that part of the key is actually a little metal stop. You also want to make sure that the part of the key that you have grinded away has actually this sort of a V shape because this is going to make the hammering of the handle onto the key much easier and much more efficient. Uh, this probably also goes without saying, but you do not want to touch uh, this part of the key with the angle grinder or modify this part of the key in any way. All your work is being done at the, at the part of the key where the, where the actual handle was. The last step is super simple. All you have to do is get your handle and one of these plastic hammers and simply hammer the handle onto the key slowly and easily to make sure you know it fits right and the key ends up being straight in the handle. So there you have it, how to spend five minutes making something that's gonna make people think you're stealing your own car and calling the cops on you. Yay! So that's it for this episode of, you know, car stupidity. Yeah, I could call these car stupidity probably. So that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for, I already said thanks for watching, right? Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Mm-hmm.